right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website. Link in the description box. Mind, body, spirit, fitness. Putting the healing back in hell. Coming at you today with a video on, you know, one of the greatest things I learned from my father. He just recently passed away. What is it, November? He passed away in July. Uh, I made a little video series on that as well. You can watch of just the things that I was going through during that time of when he had cancer, when he was about to pass, and then when he finally did pass. So it's a little three-part series. For those of you that are struggling with the same thing, maybe there's something in there that can help you. Um, for me, I didn't really know my father. We didn't hang out much. Uh, my parents got divorced when I was fairly young. I think it was about two years old. He went into the army. He was overseas until I was early teens. Of course, you know, then I was able to, he came back. So child support comes into play, custody. I was able to see him every other weekend or something like that. And then once I got my car, I fell away. Whatever, he passed away though. Back at it, he passed away. I said, we were never really close. No, you know, nobody called each other on Christmas. I saw him maybe at a family function. Uh, we didn't call each other on our birthdays or anything like that. So if that's something that you're going through, hopefully those videos can help you. Uh, but when he was when he passed away, this is one thing. He passed away from bladder cancer. He was a big smoker. Um, and I'm sure a big partier in his heydays. So, but the best thing he taught me was just, you know, get your checkup. Go to the doctor. Make sure things are right. Especially if you think something's wrong. Go get a checkup. If something hurts, go get it done. Go get it looked at to make sure. Because he died of bladder cancer, uh, and it ended up going into his prostate, into his limbs, into everything. And one of the few times that we did hang out was, I think, two or three years before he passed. And we went from here in Colorado. So in Fort Collins, we have a minor hockey league team. My uncle has season tickets to it. My grandpa did as well. So we went down and watched that game. And he was having problems going to the restroom, you know, urinary, urinary problems. And, you know, he never went and got it looked at. And it most likely was that that was the first sign of cancer. Uh, but he was, you know, this big guy, I don't need it. Like a lot of men, you know, we don't need to go to the doctor. We're good. Spit on it, rub some dirt on it, walk it off. You know, sometimes these aren't, these aren't the right thing for us to do. We have these advances in medicine, and we need to take advantage of them, especially with him. He was a vet. He could have went to the doctor for free at any time. He would never have to pay for anything, and he still never went. And that's just that pride. Once again, pride getting a hold of you. I have a video on when pride can be a good thing, but right now this is when pride was not a good thing. Um, you know, Trying to be manly and this and that, and, and it was his downfall. And unfortunately, he passed away at 55 years old. 55 years old he passed away you know and i have a video once again on on uh some, what was it called i changed the names of my videos sometimes uh, what was that one? something about oh if you're you know if you're going to be a parent after the age of 30 some you know there's some food for thought in there that i got myself from talking with family members as my dad was passing away but once again, you know, we got to stop falling into this lie that men don't need to go to the doctor. I heard a story about one of my uncles where he's in his 50s and it's time to get a colonoscopy and, you know, get probed. And I heard he said, I'd rather die of colon cancer than you stick anything up there, you know. And we got to let that go. You, know, you are the most valuable resource to your family. You know, you have great experience in your life and, and you can teach a lot of people, but you can't do that if you're six feet under. You know, you're no value to anybody if, if you're down to the ground. So make sure that you get there you get to, and you get your normal checkups if you can. I'm guilty of it. I haven't been to the doctor in probably 13 years, well, besides when my knee went out. Um, other than that, I haven't been to the doctor in probably 13 years, 14 years. Um, and now that my dad passed away, it's something that I'm starting to think about that maybe it's something that I should uh, look into. And I have been looking into it and it's, it's coming soon. So once again, something that you need to do as men to make sure that you're there, not only for your family, your children, you know, for the world, who knows what great things you're gonna do in your life and you need to be around so everybody 
can experience those things with you. So once again, I hope this helps. Subscribe to the channel, share and like these videos.